Hey YouTube, I hope you're heeding the warning of healthcare professionals and staying inside during this coronavirus outbreak. In the meantime, I have brought you a head running guide today. You will need all of your equipment just like with any other role. Your primary damage source to Ulm will be mage this time around. Your main role, head running Ulm, is to make Ulm turn his head. Remember, no matter what you're doing at Ulm, you will always spec the melee hand. As a runner, after you spec the melee hand, run to the mage side of Ulm's head. To help me with this, I have the same two rows of east-west tiles marked at different spots in the room. Again, your role as a head runner is to make sure Ulm turns his head after each attack. If you or your team are not standing in the correct spots, Ulm will not turn his head after each attack. This does two things. One, it causes one side to take more damage than the other allowing them to get stacked out easier. In two, it switches sides that specials happen. When Ulm turns his head, it also slows down the number of attacks you can do in a minute as the animation of turning takes up time. Subscribe for more content. I will be doing an Ulm guide for each roll. So now that you know why it is important to keep Ulm's head turning, I'm going to tell you how. During this raid, I did nothing but head run. All you do is run between the two marked tiles right on either side of Ulm's head. As long as your teammates are in the right spots in the room, Ulm will continue to turn his head. If you do this properly, while you're actively running head, you will never take damage. And the reason for this is because you will constantly be out of Ulm's view. Disclaimer, I don't know the exact range, but this will be very close. Basically, this is what Ulm sees when he turns his head. If you're not in his field of view, he will not attack you. This also illustrates another point. You don't have to avoid his field of view the entire time. You only have to avoid it when he attacks. When Ulm turns his head to the melee side, this is what he sees. If you're not there, he won't attack you. Due to the lack of damage headrunners take, it's common for them to drop their teammates' supplies. Let me talk you through how to headrun. Ulm turns his head, so I run over, attack once, attack twice, Ulm turns his head, I run over, attack once, attack twice, run over. Just like the other roles during head phase, put on your range gear and attack Ulm's head. Except this time, you're in charge of making Ulm turn his head. Yeah, we screwed this up. It's more difficult whenever you have an even number of people, as that means you have to have more than one person turn the head. But, alas, it's still pretty easy. Just stick to the basic principles, you know, dodging crystals and turning his head, and running over as he turns his head, so that way you're always out of his field of view. Pro tip, use a 3x3 square to run in between. This will help you dodge crystals. Remember, wash your hands and may the purples be with you. 